Hi guys, Tinker Diamond again with you. Welcome to my super cool channel. <laughs> um, thank you everyone for subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you're watching this channel and you think to subscribe, I will be very thankful for that. If not, but you're still watching, thank you very much for that as well. What I'm doing today, I will kit up my beaded cross stitching. The picture looks like this. You can see? Very awesome picture. Really can't remember from where I bought it. Company looks like calls Husey One. I even don't know how to read it. Um, but yeah, I had it for a while and now I finally decided to kit it up. I did kit it up in the hard boxes, but I didn't have enough boxes. That's why I get the new ones. Ordered these ones from Amazon. Sorry for crinkling. I love crinkling. That's why if you don't like it, please mute I won't do it because I love it and yeah I bought 40 boxes okay that's too much crinkling let's open from this side take out my awesome this goes to bin okay boxes like this I think so there fits uh, quite a lot in I didn't finish kit up all like you see I still have a lot to kit up but these ones I will put back in these boxes because I have a uh, 34 colors I already print out my sheets I won't write it down on the boxes I will put with the sticky tape my tape is prepared. I have here my tape. I had one more. Yeah, and there is even a smaller one. But we'll see how much I will need. Yes, that I don't need to write. I will stick on my boxes on that top. I did start already my stitching with beads. I will say I get from beginning a bit confused. I do have a chart in here. And to mark how much I did, I'm using my Sharpie black pen, which is somewhere, somewhere. Where did I start? Where in the first page? Page number one. Where are you? Page number three. Page number one. This one. Oh, yeah. I started here from the corner. You basically can't see. Yeah, you can see. I'm marking a little bit, tiny, tiny, a little bit off but the chart actually the symbols on the canvas not matching with these symbols and it's a little bit made me a little bit confused that's why i have my i'm saying chart i forgot the word my i will keep saying chart my chart on my canvas and i'm trying to find my diamond th through this one i'm not even looking what is the symbol on a canvas because they are completely different they are not like in here Okay, what I will do now, 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 I decided to do this video, you can see, yeah, I will cut in here a little bit and then I will cut off tiny pieces. Um, I decided to do this kitting up, something a little bit different than diamond painting, basically the same. In my opinion, it's very similar to diamond painting and nearly the same as cross stitching easier than a cross stitching because it's with one yarn with one thread and similar to diamond painting because you need to go through the patterns yes that's the right word yes what else i wanted to say something else and now i completely forgot but yeah i started it it's actually take quite a long to do it's not so i was thinking it would be like very easy but it wasn't so easy how i imagine it it takes a long time as well Yeah, I have a tool. I printed out. I scan it actually on my printer and then print it out. The 
the pattern sheet. You know I'm not English, I can't remember all these words. They are complicated for me. Yeah, who are watching first time my channel, like I am think I'm going by name Tinker on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, I do diamond painting more than two years, I think so nearly three years already. And I am a very simple person. I am not going in a very small tiny details, I'm not picky as well. I'm picky with the diamonds, if they are bad quality then it's not making me happy. Yes, otherwise, yeah, I did few videos. I'm doing videos in two languages, I can't find them here. I'm doing videos in two languages. Ones are going in my language, which one is Latvian. Uh, others, other videos I'm making in English. Sorry for sounds. But we are in progress. Let's start with the First, I will put all the... Numbers on my boxes. We will do like this and like that. Sorry, now it's very s sunny actually outside. That's good. We had the rain and like this. And then if I want to take off, I can easily take it off. One box is done. will be a big amount of the boxes, yes, and like I was saying, I'm doing diamond painting a little bit more than two years, nearly three years maybe. I know I started in October actually, and now I'm thinking like, is it really three years or two years? I can't, can't recall. And yeah. I'm doing many different hobbies as well. I'm doing crocheting and a little bit knitting. But the most I'm doing diamond painting. For this, stitching with the beads, I have a special frame. And I will finish with this. I will show you. Come on, cute box. Yeah, these boxes I bought from Amazon, I think so. I didn't pay a lot. I paid maybe four to five pounds. Not a lot. I don't think so. It's a lot. The best thing you can reuse them as well. I did a little bit fast play for you while I was putting stickers on the boxes and I have some exciting news I have a friend in here okay it's not a friend it's my son and we decided while I will put the beads in the boxes my son have some cards give me a second baby say hi to everyone hi yeah we have some funny joke cards and while I will kidding up he will read the jokes for you guys I hope you will enjoy it there you go you can take out the first one and read for us the first one while mommy will put number 34 there it is what is the first one 
What is the dog's favorite pizza topping? What is the dog's favorite pizza topping, guys? Do you know? I don't. Do you? Yes. And what it is? Pepperoni. 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 Papa. Pepperoni. Like a papironi. Okay, the next one. Cracking up. Why don't crabs ever share their food? Why don't crabs ever share their food? Who knows? Write down in the comments. Because they are shellfish. They are shellfish. Awesome. Okay, okay. Next one. How do snails fight? Do you know how snails fight? Can you imagine the snails fighting? I don't. How do they fight? They slug it out. They slug it out. <laughs> oh, good one. Come on, next one. What happens if you eat bad seafood? I don't know, but I was eating s bad food not so long ago. <laughs> what happened? You feel a little eel. You feel a little eel. That's what happened, guys. Don't eat bad seafood. You'll be a little eel. <laughs> Do you need a break? Do you want to go have a water? No, I'm fine. You're fine? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can read next one, baby. What do you call a magic dog? Magic dog? Mmm, give me a second. Ala Kazawu? Ala, ala, I don't know. <laughs> Alabra al Cabrador. Alabra Cabrador. There you go. I was thinking it will be Ala Kazum or something like that. <laughs> But he's a la cabra dog. Um, how does an Albus get into Hogwarts? Who gets in Hogwarts? Albus. Albus gets into the Hogwarts. Not a clue. Through, he goes through the Dumbledore. <laughs> oh. Yeah, who knows Harry Potter will laugh from this one, definitely. Why can't you give Elsa a balloon? Elsa a balloon. Elsa probably from the Frozen, yes? Yeah. Why can't you get Elsa a balloon? I don't know. Because she'll let it go. Oh! Let it go! <laughs> Next one. What kind of car do, does an egg drive? One more time. What? What kind of car does an egg drive? Yeah, what kind of car egg drives? No, what kind of car does an egg drive? I don't know. A Yolkswagen. A Yolkswagen. There you go. Egg drives a Yolkswagen. What are caterpillars afraid of? Caterpillars afraid of me, probably, because I'm big. No, I'm not. What they're afraid of? Dogger pillars. Oh, dogger pillars. I get the joke because at the beginning of Caterpillars there's a cat and uh, the answer it, at the beginning it has dog. Okay, there you go. See, he's smart. I'm not so. <laughs> Why did the bird go to the hospital? Why did the bird go to the hospital? I don't know. To get treatment. <laughs> Birds need a treatment, guys. <laughs> why do you smear smear peanut? Uh, one more time. Uh, why do you smear peanut butter on the road? Why do you smear peanut butter on the road? Yeah. Damn boy, I don't know. So go with the traffic jam. <laughs> Oh, they are good. <laughs> what do you call a fairy who doesn't wash? The fairy who doesn't wash. <clears throat> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> He's cracking up already. I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Stinkerbell. The Stinkerbell. Not Tinkerbell, but Stinkerbell. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Come on, next one. 
What type of dinosaur is always falling asleep? <laughs> what type of dinosaur always falling asleep? Uh, Sleeposaur. No. Snorosaur. No. A stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. I was close. I said snorosaur. <laughs> stegosaurus. What does ET stand for? ET. I don't know. It. He's only got little legs. What does E.T. E T short for? Oh. He's only got a little legs. Okay. Still didn't get it. Yeah. Who get it? Let me know. Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? Why did the skeleton cross the road? Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? Why he didn't cross the road? Okay. Because he's scared what is on the other side. No. He didn't have any guts. He didn't have the guts. He didn't have the guts to scare the rat. <laughs> oh. Why is Peter Pan always flying? Why is Peter Pan always flying? I don't know. Tinkerbell don't know why Peter Pan always flying. Uh, because he never lands. He never lands. He's from Neverlands. He never lands. I like these ones. They are good. Which cheese? Which cheese lives in a far, in a galaxy far away? Wow, I don't know. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Didn't know that there is a cheese like that. I hope, guys, you can hear what he's reading. Actually, what is a pirate's favorite cheese? Pirates' favorite cheese. Pirates say R. Um, I don't know. Cheddar. Cheddar! Who loves cheddar? That's a pirate. What sound does it not make when it sneezes? Who makes the sound? What sound does a nut make when it sneezes? What sound the nut makes when it sneezes? Do you guys know? I don't know nut sneezes. Cashew. Cashew! Cashew. Look at that. What's a frog's favorite drink? Frog's favorite drink. You guys probably think listening to this and thinking like, she know nothing. No, I don't. I don't, really. I don't know. Croca-Cola. 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 Frog loves Croca-Cola. How do ghosts travel? How do goats travel? Not goats, ghosts. Ah, ghosts. I'm thinking why well, how how the goats travel. <laughs> the ghosts. By scaraplane. By scaraplane. Why do the French like eating snails? Yeah. Why the French like eating snails? They don't like fast food. They don't like fast food? <laughs> Who guys from you love snails? Did you ever try anything like snails or, I don't know, ants or some bugs? If you did, write down below in the comments. I would be, for me, it would be very interesting to read. I never try anything like that. Okay, cracking up next time. Next one. Where did the general keep his armies? Where did general keep his armies? He's cracking up quietly. I don't know again. Come on. Up his sleeves. Up his sleeves. <laughs> yeah. I'm struggling to open these bags. They are like so weirdly like sealed and come on next one, baby. How did Vikings communicate? How did Vikings communicate? By Morse code. 
by Morse code. Look at this color, guys. These beads are like shiny. That's a nice color. This one. That looks so cool. Yeah. Did you see the purple ones? Ooh. Look at the purple ones, guys. If buttercups are yellow, what color are hiccups? I know this one! I got so useless because I was reading this one many times. It's purple! <laughs> yep. If buttercups are yellow, what color are hiccups? It's purple, guys. Why are eggs no good at telling jokes? And I know this one too. Why are eggs not good at telling jokes? Do you guys know? I do. Because they, they keep cracking up. <laughs> we are two eggs sitting in here. <laughs> Next one, baby. What do you call a pile of kittens? What do you call a pile of kittens? <laughs> Something with a meow, definitely. Yes. Mountain. Yes, a mountain. It's a mountain. <laughs> Look, a pile of kittens is a mountain. What do you call a cow on a trampoline? Cow on a trampoline. Oh my, <laughs> can you imagine that? <laughs> I don't know. A milkshake. A milkshake. <laughs> I don't know why. Listening to this one, I don't know why, but... Yeah, that's funny, yeah, one way of saying. How do you call cow on a trampoline? A milkshake. What happened to the car after she ate a ball of wood? Wool. Oh, I said I read it wrong. What happened to the cat after she ate a ball of wool? What happened to a cat when she ate a wool of wood? Of no, wood. A, a, ball, a ball of wool. A ball of wool. Oh my, that's the uh, tongue-breaking words. Like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, it, it says she had mittens. She had mittens. mittens. If everyone wants to have a mittens, just give a ball of wool to your kitten. <laughs> they will have a mittens. They will give you mittens. What's the most muscle bone? I mean, what's the most musical bone? What's the most musical bone? What is the most musical bone? The trombone. The trombone. <laughs> trombone is the most musical bone. Why do dogs have feathers? Dogs. Why do dogs have feathers? Why do dogs have ducks? <laughs> yeah, I need to see a doctor with my hearing, definitely, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why do ducks have feathers? To cover their butt quacks. <laughs> to cover their butt quacks. Okay? <laughs> yeah, next one. What do you call a funny mountain? What do you call a funny mountain? Hilarious. It's a hilarious. Because hill... And hilarious. It's Hill and Arius. Hill and Arius. Hilarious. Did you hear the song about the fajita? Did you hear a song about fajita? Did you hear the song about the fajita? No, I didn't hear a song about fajita. Well, it's more of a rap. <laughs> it's more a rap than a song. <laughs> oh. What do you get if you cross a dog with a rooster? What do you get if you cross a dog with a rooster? Oh my. You get someone who shouldn't do that, definitely. No. A cockapoodle-doo. A cockapoodle-doo. <laughs> That's what you get, guys. A cockapoodle-doo. What do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? <laughs> a snowman with a vampire? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Frostbite. You get a frostbite. <laughs> if you guys getting in the winter frostbite, it's mean you've been crossing the snowman with a vampire. Don't do it. What do you call a pig that does karate? 
I'm pig that does definitely not Kung Fu Panda Kung Fu Pig. <laughs> no, a pork chop. A pork chop. <laughs> if you cross the pig, how do you call pig who does karate? A pork chop. There you go. What's the music? What's the most musical part of a chicken? Musical part of the chicken? Yeah. A chicken wings? No, the drumstick. The drumstick? <laughs> the most musical part in a chicken is a drumstick. Why was the rabbit upset? Why was the rabbit upset? Because he was having a bad hair day. Bad hair day for rabbit. Bad hair day. Not like in hair, which we have, but like in the other type of rabbit. Yeah, of hair. hair. I know, I can't even say that I have hair. You, hair. Can, you can say better, yeah? Hair. Hair. Yeah. Mom, it's just like saying hair. Yeah, I know. It's like exactly the same. Okay, keep reading. Next one. Don't make mama repeat these words. <laughs> hmm. What do you get if you eat Christmas decorations? A lot of stomach ache, definitely. Yeah. Tinsel, it's... Tinsel? Show me. Tinsel, it's... Tinsel, it's... Not a clue, what is that? Yep. What did you get if you eat Christmas decorations? A tinsel, it's... Okay, guys, this one is glued together. I'm cutting this one. What did the judge... What did the judge say when... A skunk entered the courtroom. What the, the, does the judge said when the skunk enter a courtroom? Not a clue. Odor in the court? Odor in the court. That's what he said. That's what he said. Can a kangaroo jump higher than a skyscraper? No. Of course, skyscrapers it can't jump. <laughs> you see, skyscrapers can't jump. Kangaroo can. How does a penguin build its house? How does the penguin build his house? Penguin doesn't build a house. It glues it together. It glues it together. It glue. If you have 13 apples in one hand and 10 oranges in the other, what do you have? Very big hands. Massive hands. <laughs> ah, I was right. <laughs> Massive hands. What kind of books do skun skunks read? What kind of books skunks read? They don't read. Best smellers. Best smellers. See, skunks read best smellers. Look at this color. Oh my god. That's so purple. How do you know if it's raining cats or dog and dogs? When you're being pouring wet. No. You step in a poodle. <laughs> you step in a poodle, then you know that it's been raining cats and dogs. Okay. Why why were the teacher's eyes crossed? Why would the teacher's eyes crossed? Because she can't control her pupils. <laughs> oh. Why did the mushroom go to the party? Because his friend is Mario. <laughs> because because he, wa he was a fungi. He was a fungi. That's why mushroom went to the party, because he was a fungi. Okay, there's three left. Three left, guys, and I'm nearly there as well. What kind of shoes does a spy wear? Spider. No. What What type ah, of shoes? Ah, spy. Yeah. Spy heels. No. Sneakers. Sneakers. Spy wear sneakers. Why do bananas wear sunscreen or high SPF? Why who wears? Why do bananas wear sunscreen with a high SPF? Why do bananas wear sunscreen with a high SPF? I don't know. Because they peel. Because they peel. 
Okay, last one. And the last one, guys. What do you call a surgeon with eight arms? Surgeon with the eight arms. A doctor puss. A doctor puss. And that's all. There you go, guys. My cute boy, read your jokes. I'm nearly there as well. Thank you, baby. Thank and you. And by the way, leave a comment if you laughed at one of them jokes. Yeah, leave the comment on your favorite one if you read it and you like some of them. Yeah, we finished nearly there. We are nearly there. We have three left as well. They actually are very staticky. Oh, I like this blue. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. It's number three. It's a very nice shade of blue. Oh, we lost one pearl. I'll it's find fine. it. Fine, no worries. No worries, no worries, no worries. You can collect your cards back from the floor. Okay. And we nearly finished, guys. This is the way how I'm kidding up. You can see I remove a little bit. I have a huge amount of them now back in the boxes. I decided to leave only on the one side, on the one side like this, if you can see. The sun, sorry for the glare. It's very sunny, kind of sunny outside. You can't understand this weather now in England. It's sunny and rainy at the same time. Yes. I did start the stitching, but I'm not sure when I will finish it. Definitely not the closest time because it's a lot of, lot of work to do and it's going very, very slow. But yeah, I will finish not getting up and give me a second. I will pause it and then I will turn the camera the way around to show you guys how the canvas look actually. Okay, give me a second. I need to find number 22. Then we fit it all in. It's actually quite hard to open them. Let's hope when I will be opening them, they won't fly everywhere. Okay, I pull up the old one. Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome. Yeah, I decided to do something different for you guys to ask my baby boy to join in, in the video. I know Abigail sometimes does that and her son sometimes as well talks something on the phone, but I decided we bought a while ago the cards. Can this one go all in? I don't think so. Oh no, it did. Look at that. Okay, we finished getting up. See you guys soon. Hey guys, this is how it looks. The canvas. I have frame like that. And yeah, it's very, very, like a lot of, lot of color, colors. This is the corner which one I'm started. And as you can see, there are symbols like this cross symbol. It's actually number six. What is going on the boxes? Number six. Where it is, baby? Yeah. This one. The bottom one. No, 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 no. Number six. Not that. Oh, this, yeah. It will be symbol number six. Symbol will be number six. And here it's like a cross. Yeah, and that's why I can't use these symbols. What is on the pattern? I need to use these ones. What is on the chart? But yeah, this is how it looks. Okay, guys. Now you've seen how I'm kidding up. My beautiful canvas. I even don't know how this canvas call. It's not written there. And I bought it like a long time ago. Mm. And yes, you've seen how it looks. Oh... On the material, you've seen how I'm getting up. Colors, actually, I didn't show you actually the colors. They are wonderful. They look mm. very shiny and cool. They look very shiny and cool. Look at this green. It's so, so, like, bright. I also get emerald green. Yes, baby, you know more colors than money, though. There's, of course, a lot of travelers, what is inside in the colors. 
lot of lot of travelers i like that they are like all like covered they are like a very shiny like a pearl shiny there's a different beads which ones are like transparent basically but these ones are not lot of purples lot of purples lot of blue lot of green this is what i seen in here and the brown different shades like golden brown yes this is how it looks thank you very much guys for watching this video i hope you enjoy the jokes like my boy said if you enjoy any joke please write down the comments in the comments and thank you for subscribing if you watch this video and you liked it please feel free to subscribe please press thumbs up and if you didn't like you can press thumbs down i don't mind it as well uh thank you very much for watching remember you all are awesome you are all cool and see you next time guys bye 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 bye, -bye.